Hey there. So we've gone over just some basic markers. We've gone over uh, a little bit of a different way to do markers. You should kind of understand generally how sources and stuff are related. So we're just going to talk a little bit about styling some specific features now or types of geometries. Uh, most of this is somewhat redundant. I think you could be able to figure it out on your own. Uh, just if you've done some of the Mapbox Studio courses and you understand fill layers and lines and we've gone over some properties like opacity. Um, we've looked at, you know, setting paint properties, setting uh, layout properties, a lot of flexibility going on there. But I just want to go over some specific fill related or uh, line related or fill extrusion related um, features that, or, or properties that you can set. So you can see here I've loaded just this pink polygon. This is actually from something a couple lessons on. I'm actually coming back just because I felt like uh, I hadn't gone over enough the specifics of fills and lines and 3D extrusions. Um, and I wanted to make this a little better. So this is actually from later. Um, it's really nothing very special. It's just a boring little quick GeoJSON that I got. But it can tell us a little about fill layers, layers for fill. So there's all this detail on the different layers here and the way you can add them. And we've looked a little bit at the different properties. So why don't we just um, implement a couple of these just to give it a shot. So we have our fill outline color um, and just some very basic stuff, fill pattern. These are, these are all things we've seen in Studio. So here you can see on our current map, I've actually just added this. We, we've gone over some of this add source and we'll, we'll do it a bit more. So I've added the GeoJSON, and when I've added the layer, I've added it with a certain fill color. And obviously, I can change that quite easily. All right, so there it is, kind of looking gross, but oh well. Now we can also have a couple other properties on this, such as that, uh, what was it called here? Fill outline color. So fill outline color, and we'll make that one white. Let's see if we get it view. So this is essentially, you can see there's just a slight one pixel white. Can't, it's very, very hard to see, so it's okay if you can't see it, but it is there. Um, <clears throat> so that's, you know, this is just corresponding directly to what we did in Studio, so it's really not too complicated. Let's make this a line now. So I can actually just change it right here because a line string and, uh, and a polygon really aren't so different. I just need to get rid of a couple uh, features there. We'll change this to a line, we'll make this a line color, and we'll get rid of this. Alright, so let's see if we get a line from it now. Oh, there it is. So we get this black line. And let's make it a little wider. So again, these are just features that are uh, properties that you can easily look up. And you'd own, the only complex part is that sometimes you have to check whether it is a layout property or a paint property, right? So in this case, I'm getting lucky. This was all paint properties. But let's go to line here. Oh, where were we? Um, there it is, line. So we have different line uh, things, again, corresponding to studio to make dashed lines, change visibility, opacity. And one of the more fun ones to actually do here is uh, fill extrusions. So why don't we do one of these? We'll change this back to... Uh, being a fill. Okay, looks good. Polygon, yeah, looks good. And we can actually just give it a fill extrusion of all this. So if we go back here, we make this type fill extrusion. And we change that to extrusion color. And we're going to get rid of this again. And now how do we set the height? Right here, this looks like it. Fill extrusion height. Give that. We have to give it an amount in meters, so we're just going to go totally overboard and give it like a huge amount so we can see something. Oh, what? Oh, yeah, so it kind of was weird because we were inside it, kind of, if that makes sense. You know, it's such a huge pillar. So there it is. It's pretty cool, fill extrusion. Now you can imagine, as we go through and we start doing some data things, that you could set that dynamically and actually have it change, uh, change this fill extrusion height as as things change on the map itself. So pretty fun. And there's all kinds of its own, other, you know, the base. You can make it actually like flying through the sky because this thing, it, the base could be halfway up. So lots of cool um, features here as well. And one more that we haven't gone over a great deal is circles. Circles are kind of another 
uh, substitute for markers. They, they rely on a single point and then you style them from that point. So if I was going to just reduce this down to one point, okay, we'll make it a point type feature and we'll change this to a circle. Okay, and then we'll change the circle to that. And I think we want to change, I'm going to guess here that it's circle radius. And we're going to make it a little bit smaller, just because it's a little extreme. And, oh, I need to make sure that this point is actually entered correctly. I have the GeoJSON specification a little incorrect. So, okay, there we are. So there's the circle. I'm trying to kind of zoom out here. Okay, so why don't we just reduce this down a little, a little smaller so we can actually handle it. what's going on. Where are we? Oh, there it is. So right here is the circle. So this is the original point. And so you can see it kind of acts as, a, as another type of marker. Uh, you can change colors. You can. I, I often will layer one of these types of icon images on top of one of the circles. It kind of creates a nice circular icon feeling. So feel free to go in here. You should be um, good enough to even tackle some of the ones we haven't gone over, like heat maps. I don't want to waste your time just going over everything when you get the idea. We're just going through and looking through paint properties and, and layout properties and then adjusting different, uh, different information based on that.